this is just nothing but one big flea market. Everybody's selling stuff everywhere. And cheap, too. It's a whole bunch of stuff right along here. Just laid out there. If you want one, you can buy it. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Okay, better look at the gas powered flight line here. Just looking down the line. A lot more to see down there. We're just starting. A lot of big jets going by. That's a big one there. Bigger than normal. Look here, Dave. We got neat stuff. A whole box full of old Cox motors. That's what you need. That's a Tiddy. Look at that. That's not a very big Cox. That's a bum. Is that it? That's tiny Cox. That's a Tiddy. Tiddy, Tiddy, Tiddy. Tiddy. That's what you're talking about? Tiddy. A lot of interesting stuff here from old, old times. A lot of old planes right here. Okay, getting close now. We're at the main tent right here. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. Eh, a few big planes. A few things hanging around. But this is the main gas-powered flight line down here. And a lot of stuff right there. I see a really big hub right there and we're going to take a look at that and down the other way way down there where that tower is if i can get in there let's see yeah right about there there's a tower and that's the 3d flight line down there the 3d flight line and then off to the right you can't see it but that's the electric flight line and a lot of electric planes moving around down in that area so this one's all made of metal. Amazing. It's aluminum. Aluminium? It's yeah, it's all aluminum. Yeah. I like to say aluminium. I noticed he's got the receiver out the window. He's got, like, I think he's got three satellites on yeah, it. There. Yeah, it's metal. Yeah. Yeah, there's the receiver right there. I'm not sure. Look at those hinges. Looks like it, it's got hinge and pins you can pull out. Yeah, it's like the original ones. So it's, it's spring. The original planes have spring loaded. Uh -huh. So that's how these are on. And then there's just got this other thing that goes over top of it. Um, it's amazing. It's not that heavy. It's not. That's amazing, isn't it? Look that's at the win nice. windows even hinge up. And Oh, you gotta look at inside. He's telling everybody to look inside of all the. You can see the details in there. It's oh, got a pilot, gosh. hinge windows. There's no wood anywhere. The whole thing's just aluminum. <laughs> yep. Oh, he'll tell. He'll tell you all about it. He just gone down there for a bit, but. Oh well, yeah, but so we'd rather watch you talk about yeah, it. <laughs> So his buddy builds the full scale in his basement. Yeah. And so what happens is the guy like, built his house, so he's got these walls, and what he does is he picks the, you know, he's building an airplane, he just lifts a couple of pins. Yeah. The walls all slide out, he builds an airplane, and when he's not building an airplane, he picks up a couple of pins, and the walls will go back, and it looks like a... That's amazing. No. He's going to fly he's Mike. talking about He's going to fly Mike's skin. Okay, let's just take a little look at some of this stuff. anybody with any cameras at all. Maybe they're using cell phones or something, but I just haven't seen much activity. 
can see here all of the tents. It's Tent City. There's a pretty looking bike. Now we're getting into the center of it now. And a lot of stuff here. And it's for sale. A lot of stuff is for sale. It looks like a dual Mustang. So it is. Yeah, a twin Mustang. Aero Commander. Shrike. That's a pretty plane. But here's some really big stuff right here. Really big, I can't even fit it in the frame of the camera. Some even bigger stuff out there. Let's take a look at this. And then there's a really big Piper Cub without a wing on it. Right there. All kinds of stuff. And then we're getting into the jets get up here into the jets. Some of these are amazing. There looks like an A-10. It's a big A-10 right there. This one's for sale. How about this? You want to buy this one? $8,500. It's yours. Quite sleek looking. Ah, there's somebody taking some pictures. I guess not many people use camcorders anymore. Only ten thousand dollars. this this one is only ten thousand, uh, as Dick points out. So that's within my price range. After I sell the house, maybe I don't know. This to eat, and that tub is for sale too. I'm gonna walk over there and just look at that. I did promise we'd look at it, so let's look at it. Okay, they don't have any price on that. It's priceless. But it's for sale. Just call that number and Walt will fix you up. Got the seats. Some controls in the cockpit. Yeah, even got the stick. Really cool looking. Don't know where the wing's at. I don't see it. I hope it comes with a wing. Yeah, there's just so much stuff here. I don't know if I could go through it all, but there's just tons of jets. All sorts of jets everywhere. Oh, I like, like that right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's nice looking. Another big cub out there. Yeah. comes one in for a landing. And it's a touch and go, I believe. Yeah, that was a touch and go. Okay, so we'll just keep walking around looking at some stuff. There's the pavilion. In case anyone ever looks at the map for Joe Nall, that's where I'm at, right near the pavilion. So we're just relaxing at the flight line now, doing some sports swinging, and watching a few jets and planes. It's getting dark now. We'll probably go eat, so I'll just close this for this session. See you next time. Here, like.